What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. In today's video, we are testing out some new Kylie Cosmetics from her Weather Collection. I don't have the full collection. I only have a couple items from the collection. I do have another video on part of this collection already. That video is on the Calm Before the Storm eyeshadow palette because on the first launch, that is all I was able to get so I already filmed that video and I will leave that link down below so make sure you check it out we are testing out the glitter eyes I got both duos so we are going to check out these liquid eyeshadows and see how they work I also got the ultra glow in the shade lightning bolt that's the shade color it's the gold one it's the only ultra glow that came out in the collection we're gonna test out that highlighter we are going to test out these liquid eyeshadows get them on my eyes see how they look and hopefully everything works out. If you want to see how these products worked out for me, then make sure you keep on watching. All right, we got the wig pin back, girl. Let's get this started. So we're going to open up the Ultra Glow first. I do think the packaging is super cute. It has the lightning bolts and like a holographic type feel going on. Component is bright yellow. I just love it. Oh, I like how they did the lightning bolt as the eye in Kylie. Oh, and the top has these little like star thingies. Oh, I'm loving it. And it is secured with the little plastic piece right there. Let me grab my tweezers so I can pull it off. We're going to pour some into the cap. So it's a very fine, loose glitter. We got some on our fingers. Watch this on my arm. Oh yeah, glitter's flying everywhere. It has some green, blue, maybe even purple reflex in it. So that's super cute. But really, all that matters is what is on the face. Okay. I'm taking a highlighter brush. This is a Morphe M510. Definitely gonna tap off the excess here. Seems as though everything came off the brush. Now let's get this on my cheek. Oh, this might be a little too yellow for me. Oh boy. Wow. I really don't have a full face of makeup on today. All I have on is a BB cream and I already have mascara on, but we're gonna work with that already. Just bear with me, you guys. Well, this is really pretty. It might be too yellow for me, but it's definitely giving me that highlight feel that I like. So now what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna wet the brush with some Fix Plus and see if that gives an even more blinding effect. Woo! That is um, very <laughs> different than this side, okay? Let's blend it out. Wetting the brush just made this like too sharp. I need more of like a blended in type feel. This is definitely not gonna be like an everyday highlighter for me. It's just too like goldy for me. I do like it. It's just like the other Ultra Glow that I have. So same exact formula. I like how it goes on the skin. It does look very nice. It's not gonna go with like every type of makeup look, you know? But it's cute. Not mad at it at all. All right, so let's dip into these liquid eyeshadows or these glitter eyes, I should call it. This was $40 for the duo, so it's $20 a piece for each high, um, glitter eye. I think she should eventually come out and make them singles. So like if you don't want this color, but you do want this color, you know what I mean? But I don't think it's that bad of a price for the glitter eyeshadows. I know the liquid glitter eyeshadows that I really like from Stiller are like $24, $25 a piece. So I don't think it's that bad at all. We're gonna swatch all these real quick and then decide what I'm gonna put on my eyes. I'm just gonna go straight in with the glitter eyeshadow on my eyes, maybe blend it out just to see what it does, how it looks. Try out Violet Moon right here, this purple, blue, silver type color. Now when you open it up, it doesn't seem like there's anything on the doe foot. Is that what you call it? Doe foot? <laughs> Did I say it wrong? I don't want to say it wrong. Okay, so I dipped it back in and now there's a little bit more product, but let's just swatch this and see like what comes off. It's a super pretty color. Now there is a little bit of patchiness. I tried out some ColourPop liquid eyeshadows like this and it was kind of the same thing. This might have more pigment than those. It's coming off as I'm trying to put more on it. Do you guys see that? It's actually coming off. Next color we are trying is called Destiny and it's more of a bronzy like copper color. And this one seems to have way more product on the doe foot wand, whatever you want to call it. Wow, super pigmented. But this, this doesn't seem like glitter. It seems more just like a shimmer 
Yeah, definitely don't see any glitter whatsoever. We're opening up the other duo. All right, which one are we gonna try first? Let's try this one. It's called Twinkle Twinkle. This one has a lot of product on the doe foot as well. First swipe. Oh, this is super pretty. Yeah, it has some gold champagne, rose gold reflex in it. Very pretty, actually. It doesn't have as much pigment as this copper one. And when you, like, try to layer it, it just kind of takes the product off. So I don't really like that. But I do like the color of it. Last one we are trying is Superstar. Good amount of product is on there. Oh, this one's pretty sheer. I'm not getting glitter vibes, I'm getting just shimmer vibes. Maybe the blue purple one has glitter, but everything else, it just seems like a shimmer, like a liquid shimmer shadow. They are bringing me the color pop liquid eyeshadow vibes for sure. The colors are very similar to those ones. So I think I want to try Twinkle Twinkle on my eyelids and that's this color right here. Definitely not even going to try that color, I'm just not feeling that color at all. I think like what I saw online look way prettier than how it is in person. It's just like too chocolatey brown for me. Let's just see what happens. How's that looking you guys? I want to take a brush real quick and just try to like blend it out see what happens. Alright, so I'm just taking a clean blender brush. This is from Glamour Dolls. I'm just gonna try to blend it out and it doesn't blend out really. Like there was like no blending. Yeah, no really blending happening here. Hmm. So I'm just gonna try to use my finger to blend. I mean, it's kind of cute. Or should we try this on top? Let's just try it on top. Why not? Let's just play around. Let's just do this. Now I'm going to just try to blend it in with my finger. That's kind of cute. It seemed to like blend okay with each other. Like that wasn't bad. That's kind of cute actually. All right, so we've got the same shadows on this eye. Now, I'm not hating it. I'm not mad at it, but it doesn't really blend out. I think it's just going to be good for like a topper on top of a shimmer shadow or something like that, or just doing like a cut crease and putting that on there is probably going to work really well. So I think we're going to use the blue purple color called Violet Moon and we're just gonna put this under my eyes see what happens because we're just gonna play around I'm just using a pencil brush to try to blend it a little bit see if this will help blend it So I got a little bit of the product on the brush and then we're gonna try to get it. Oh, wow. So that actually worked a little bit better, but we need to blend this sucker out. I'm just gonna put a little right here and blend it out with my finger just to see what happens. You know I need to get some inner corner highlight. <laughs> so we're gonna use the Superstar shade for the inner corner. Here we are with the finished look with these liquid glitter eyes on. I got mascara on my bottom lashes. Now, I don't think that these glitter eyes are supposed to be meant for a full eyeshadow look by themselves. I don't even think they're supposed to be by themselves. I think it's going to be good for a nice pop of color on your lid on top of a shimmer that you already have. Or possibly inner corner pop of highlight but definitely not just putting them on your lid for shadow I think they're gonna be better for just a t eyeshadow topper now here are the swatches that are all dry and as you can tell they don't smear anything like that so that's really cool that's obviously why they don't blend out on the eyes 
okay? If you are somebody who absolutely loves liquid eyeshadows and just wants to continue to add to your collection, then yes, I definitely suggest to go out and buy these to have them in your collection. I don't know if I will ever use this copper color Destiny. I don't, I just not feeling the color in person. It definitely looked way better online. These three colors, I definitely like the colors. I do want to try to do like a full glam look and use one of them as like an eyeshadow topper for just a pop of bling, you know what I'm saying, on the lid. As far as the Ultra Glow, I do like it. It does give a good highlight feel. However, the gold might just not be my shade and that's okay, but it could come in handy one day. So I don't think it's a bad price for $14 for these. Um, I think they're great for loose powder highlighters. I think that's it for this review on these new Kylie Cosmetics Weather Collection products that I got. I hope you guys enjoy watching me try them out and see how they work, playing around with them just a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Kylie Cosmetics review, then please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye!